Hello guys, good evening everybody, good to see you. How are you guys? Almost the end of the week, right? Good evening, good evening Oscar. Oscar. How are you? How is uh, very, 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 very stressed teacher, because mm -hmm. at the time the traffic is really complicated because yes. in many streets it is loaded. There is traffic jam. Yeah. Yeah, I can't. Oh, I rem yes, I remember. In the, uh, but that doesn't have to change because of the of the different routes they are like creating or building. It's very difficult. Mm -hmm. How much time does it take to be in your home? Depend the place where where I return is correct. Mm -hmm. for, for example, I, I return. Uh, come back. Is, I come back barely five minutes. Mm -hmm. Five minutes. I I have just come to. Is correct. Mm -hmm. I have just come to a popa. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I it's imagine really, that there must be too much too much traffic. Yeah. Y eso que es autopista. Mm. Yes, that, that is the new one, right? Yeah. Oh no. But at least maybe it can like uh to be less the traffic. I suppose that maybe that can change something. But By the way, oh, you you you're living in Oxygen, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, it is supposed, but nowadays that I'm working from home, it's totally different, right? So that is a, a huge advantage, right, of this uh, type of jobs. But either way, right, there is traffic. In any in any moment, right? Okay, guys, welcome back. Thank you so much, Oscar, for sharing. I understand that. Yes, right. As most of us, you are stressed, all of us, but it is almost end. So welcome back. Okay, guys. So we did some activities yesterday, right? And uh, today we're going to continue with section five. Remember that you have to finish until section four because tomorrow they are going to, I assume they are going to, to close, right? Or to check your activities. Okay, so today we have uh, the section about family members. Maybe you know some of the vocabulary, maybe not. Maybe we can reinforce this topic. Hello, uh, let's see, everybody, can you help me with some of the words? Maybe Manuel, good evening. Can you help me to read the English part, please? Hello, teacher. Can Hello. you hear me? Yes. Are you okay? Is it okay if you read or are you busy? Because I listen to background sound. Can yeah. You okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Quite. Okay. Can you read? Posing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Posing, father, mm -hmm. grandmother, mm -hmm. my, niece, niece, niece mm -hmm. okay. sister in law, mm -hmm. uncle, mm -hmm. wife. Okay, thank you. Okay, can you uh, continue with the next ones? We have the next one. I'm going to read them. We have, as we said, the cousins, right? Los primos or prima. In the case that you have a sobrino, sobrina, right? They're going to be your nephew and your niece. Then we have the, the in-laws, right? The family that are the members, for example, of your spouse, spouse right? Or husband you have. So you have a... Suegro, right? Father in law, suegra, mother in law, son in law, daughter in law, brother in law, and sister in law, all the ones that come to your 
um, spouse, right? Like your wife, as I said, or husband. Okay, so we study the vocabulary questions about a word that maybe you didn't remember. No questions? Okay, that is part of the vocabulary. Uncle is Theo. Uncle, and we have aunt, right? Uncle is a Theo. Uncle. Uncle, it is the one, as you said. And we have the other one. Mm -hmm. Yes, there is. Okay. So we have, for example, wife, right? Esposa, wife, or in the case of female, right? Esposa, husband, the opposite. Okay, so let's practice. Let's practice some of these words. And uh, you're going to help me with this information. Okay, uh, let's see, Rose. Hello, Rose. Hello. Okay. Hello. okay, yeah, I can hear you. Oh, yes, I can hear you, Rose, sorry. So can you help me with this information? We have to use the words we have here. So if we have the grandfather, so she's going to be, give us this mark. Grandmother, right? Grandmother. Okay, what about Chris and Sarah? Father. Okay, we have that they are father and mother. And what about Donna and Manuel? Aunt and uncle. Yes. And uncle, that's right. What about, uh, thank you, uh, Rose. What about the next, this one, Sam and Yumiko? Uh, wife. They wife. are wife and mm -hmm, husband and his wife. Muy bien, very good. What about Jim? They are that, this is Lisa. Brother and... We have the vocabulary here, right? Uh, mm -hmm. co co cousin? No. Mm -hmm. she, she doesn't belong, right? Sister in law? Sister in law, right? Sister in. Hey, what about the next one, Teresa? Teresa. Mm. It, can, it can be a lot, right? It can be the daughter también, daughter from these two persons. Mm. Daughter. We can say daughter too, right? Daughter. Mm -hmm. And uh, then we have uh, nephew. What is the word that it is missing there? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, it is the niece, right? Okay. That niece, niece. That's right. So. You see that this vocabulary, maybe you know it, but this can be a good way for you to practice. Okay, let's tell me about your family, guys. I want to know more about yourselves. So in my case, I, for example, <clears throat> I live with my mom and dad, and uh, I have a brother, and uh, I will add my dog, here I live with my dog, my mom, and dad. And uh, basically, we are in my aunt too, right? So we are 
like five persons. So what about you, uh, let's see, Elsie, can you tell me more about your family? Hello. Hello. Um, okay, I live with my, my brother. Mm -hmm. I have only one brother. And I live with my aunt, aunt Milagro and my aunt Cristina. Mm -hmm. and Do you live me. with them? Do you live with them, with your aunts? Uh, perdón. Do you live with, with your two aunts or just uh, they live in another house? No. Uh, um, they live with me. Oh, they, that's even better. Uh -huh. right? In my house, mm -hmm. uh, we live for four people. Julie, there are four people in your house. Yeah. Okay. The bigger, the better, right? It's better to be in company than rather than being alone. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. It, 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 when, how do you say part of my family? Part of my family? Yes. Uh, they are part of my family. Mm, yes. And live and live with me. And they live with you. Mm -hmm. And they live with me. Perfect. Okay. That's good. It's good to know more about you. Okay. Thank you, Elsie. Okay. Thank you. Okay. I want to know more about your family. What can you tell me? Um, let's see. Rose, what can you tell me about your family? I I like my house housing mm -hmm. your house mm -hmm. my husband esposo your husband mm -hmm. my my daughter mm -hmm. and three dogs <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> That, that's it, your, your husband and your daughter. Okay, it is, it is like a, a complete, right, family, right? Okay, that's, that's good, right? Okay, perfect, thank you, Rose. So what about you, let's see, Henry, what about you, Henry? Uh, what can you tell me about your family? Do you live with your mom, your dad, for example, with your wife? Hi, teacher. Hello, Henry. Good evening. Mm -hmm. uh, the member of my family, mm -hmm. her, um, I have my sister, my brother, mm -hmm. uh, my, my dad, mm -hmm. uh, my baby, and my with her, uh, your right, wife your, your wife, wife mm -hmm. your wife mm -hmm. uh, yeah yeah and uh, you i and you and you pardon so, okay okay perfect so it's a big family right yeah that's good right that's good you don't feel alone nunca se siente solo that's good <laughs> yes <laughs> okay perfect thank you henry thank you Gracias. There, are, there is another way, for example, to say like for your grandma, you can say granny, right, grandpa. Um, it is like, um, let's say, um, it is not so formal. For example, you can say to your, to your mom, maybe when you were children, you used to say mommy or mom. There are different ways how they call their parents, not, necessar not necessarily, uh, for example, mother or father, they can even say dad, mom, these are some of the ways they call them. Estas son algunas otras formas, for example, tenemos dad, mom, es decir, mommy, daddy también, the granny que sería la abuela, pero son como más shorter, que se utilizan más, they use them a lot. Okay, guys, perfect. Let's continue with some of the activities, right? 
have here. Okay, let's go then with the grammar that we have for today. And uh, today we're going to learn about the present continuous. Vamos a aprender acerca de este tiempo, que es el present continuous. The present continuous lo vamos a utilizar, we're going to use it, cuando, con las actividades que estamos haciendo en este momento. Por ejemplo, si yo le pregunto, if I ask, um, let's see, Henry, ¿qué está haciendo en este momento? ¿Qué estás haciendo? ¿Qué está haciendo en este momento? Hey, you... En class English. Ok, muy bien. Entonces, él me va a decir que está recibiendo. Yo estoy... Estoy estudiando, ¿verdad? Inglés. Yes. Entonces, cuando usted tiene el, este, este tiempo, por ejemplo, este es el presente continuo. Ok, cuando usted está diciendo, yo estoy comiendo... Yo estoy estudiando, yo estoy viendo. Usted está usando el present continuous. O present. Okay, no sé si hay dudas about this specific tense. No sé si hay dudas. No, no. Ok, good. Entonces, we are good with this. How can we create sentences? ¿Cómo es la estructura, the structure? So, basically, for affirmative, oraciones afirmativas, affirmative sentences, what is the structure? Subject, then the verb to be, de acuerdo al subject, right? Verb to be, plus the verb in ing. The in ing. And then the complement. Y luego tenemos el complemento. Okay. Who wants to give me a sentence? Una oración. Who wants to help me with a sentence? Una oración, guys. For example, hmm? I am studying English. Right. I am studying English, right? You are uh, teach, teaching, teaching mm -hmm. English. <laughs> That's right. You are teaching English. Mm -hmm. That's better. Okay. okay. Thank you. What a, remember, la clave aquí es que dependiendo del sujeto, que vamos a utilizar el verbo to be. Por ejemplo, if I have uh, the subject, my students. What is the verb to be that I have to use with my students? Uh, are. Our students are taking French lessons. Hmm? Okay. What about si yo tuviera acá without S? ¿Cuál sería el verbo to be? My student. ¿Cuál sería el verbo to be? Is. Is. Right, my student is. Okay, so what about, esa es la forma that is the affirmative. Ahora, la forma negativa, simplemente le agregamos, we use el not. Así como el verbo to be, right? La forma negativa. Isn't, aren't, or not. I'm not. So that is the negative. For example, I am studying English. I am not studying English. And the same with the others. As a question, we only change the order, right? Are, or is, or am at the beginning of the sentence. Okay, questions about the way we we do this, we form this present progressive? No? Okay, let's practice. I'm gonna do a question. And then you're going to do another and you're going to ask your classmates. Okay, let's see. Um, let's start. Okay, Rose, are you eating popcorn right now? Are you eating popcorn right now, Rose? No, I am not. 
Ok, now ask a question to your partner. Ahora hagamos another question. Escojamos algún compañero. Choose anyone from the class and ask a question. No question. Uh -huh. Podemos utilizar where, what, who también. We can use them. Ok. Uh -huh. Escojo a... Pero de... Elsie. Elsie, ok. Ok. Tell me. Are, are you studying right now? Uh, repeat, please. Are you studying right now? Are you studying right now? Mm -hmm. yes? yes. Okay. Yes, I am. I am studying. I am studying English right now. Okay. Thanks. Uh, I choose the other one. Yes, you have to choose another one. Okay. Uh, let me see. Okay. Um, Kenny, hello. Hello, Elsie. <laughs> hello. Um, what is your, no, what are you doing? What are you doing in this moment? In this moment? I am studying English. Okay, congrats. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Manuel. Yes. Manuel. Tell me. Where are you studying now? Uh, I am studying in my house. Okay. Okay. Uh, Oscar Aguirre, are you are you ready for the final exam? Exam. Sorry. No, no, it's incorrect. Uh, ready. Oh, reading. Are you reading? He says reading. Are you reading? Sorry. Reading. Mm -hmm. Can you repeat all the sentences? Are Are you reading for the final exam? Yes, I am reading in this moment the exam. Okay. Let's, see. Let's mm -hmm. see my big thing. It could be <laughs> Henry. Hello, Mr. Aguirre. Okay, tell me, who are you planning visiting this week? Um, yes, I weekend busy. Um, no, uh, this isn't correct. Can you correct. can you say again? Okay. Uh, I, 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 you weaker if busy. Me no understanding. Okay, who are your parents visiting this week? Week. Mm -hmm. week. A quienes están visitando, quienes están visitando sus padres, your parents. Oh. Sus familiares uh, esta semana. Uh -huh. My family uh -huh. is That's right. Is, is wiki is visiting is visiting. Uh -huh. uh, mi, my family uh, mi familia visita mi familia. Okay, my parents. My, my parents. My parents. Uh -huh. My parents is visiting. Parents are, ¿verdad? Pronto, 
con are. My parents are visiting, digamos, their friends. In friends, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay. 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 Now, who is missing? ¿Quién nos hace falta? Who is missing? Okay, ask me a question, Henry. Uh, now you ask me a question. Okay. Mm -hmm. eh, ¿Quién falta, teacher? Perdón. Um, para mí la pregunta, for me, it's the question. Okay. Mm -hmm. eh, ahí está Ahorita le digas. Talento. Uh -huh. Yes. What make that uh -huh. a off in weekend? Okay. What, si no entendí bien, what are you doing, right? What are you doing is a weekend? What okay. doing? That we can do. Muy bien. What are you doing this weekend? Yes. I am taking a walk to the mountains. To the mountains. Yeah. That is my plan. Remember, también recordemos que este tense se puede interpretar también for actions or activities that you're going to do in the future as the question that Henry did it to me. Okay, so we have some of the rules here, right? For example, when you have take, in el caso cuando estamos trabajando con ing, remember that we are going to delete, right? And we are going to add ing. We have take, make, and the others, right? That ends with e. For example, when we have a, a verb like this one, that uh, we have to double the consonant, right? We have run, we have to double the consonant, we have a running, yes, Oscar? If I, teacher, I have a question. Mm -hmm. If I say, take me home, uh, the meaning is, llevame mm a -hmm. casa. Yes. Oh, okay, thanks. Okay. So we have, uh, for example, sit, sitting, that we are going to double the consonant, okay? Then we have, uh, this is another rule, this is otra regla, tenemos el verbo mentir, lie, right? Vamos a cambiar el, the last letters. And vamos a agregar ing and the y too. We have lying, okay? Uh, questions, guys, about uh, the structure, the rules, questions about that? No, no, teacher. Okay. So let's move on and let's practice, right? So can you help me with this one? Uh, let's see, Elsie, please. Can you do the first one, please? Hi, Stephanie, what? What are you doing? What are you doing, yes. What are you doing? Continue, please. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, Mark. I am standing mm -hmm. in an elevator and it's stuck. Mm -hmm. Continue. Okay. No. Oh, no. Are you okay? Yeah. I... I wait. Wait. Mm -hmm. I wait. Mm -hmm. It is moving now. It is moving. It is moving now. Uh -huh. It is moving now. Thank goodness. Okay. Thank goodness, right? Okay. Thank you, Nancy. Okay. Okay, can you help me with the next one? Let's see. Emmanuel, please, the next one. Marcy. Marcy, how enjoying? Mm, enjoying? How? How, sorry, how enjoying? How, el verbo to be? What is the verb to be that it is missing here? How? How oh, it is. Tenemos you and Justin. How? Mm. Uh, that's right. Sorry. 
are learning, right? How are uh, you, how are you and Justin mm -hmm. enjoying your shopping trip? That's right. Mm -hmm. Your shopping trip. Okay, continue. We we are having we are having a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Continue. Are you brother? Mm, we are talking about here, oh. right? Yes, sorry. Mm -hmm. Is your brother mm -hmm. is spending a lot of money? Mm -hmm. That's right. No mom. Continue. He mm -hmm. is buying he only is. one. Only one or two things, that's all. Okay, perfect. Okay, questions about uh, this present continuous or progressive, guys? No questions? No. No, okay, good. No. Uh, teacher, mm -hmm. I have a question. Yep. And um, uh, this tense is present continuous uh, or Present progressive is it the is, same. It's the same. It's the same. It is the same. Uh, you can say present okay. progressive or continuous. And describe uh, an action uh, realistic in right now. An activity that you are doing right now. Yes. Or maybe if you give the meaning of the future, for example. What are you doing this Saturday? So you are giving a sense that you are talking about the future. Esa era mi duda. Porque eh, describió algo que ocurriría en, en el fin de semana mm -hmm. y también describimos una acción que estábamos realizando en este momento. Yes, it has the two meanings. Así es. Mm, ok. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Okay, guys. Good. That is good that you asked, right? That is the point from being here, being here, right? That you ask, learn. Okay. So part of the learning is that you practice. So I have these activities for you to practice. So what are you going to do first? We are going to create sentences or questions or negative even events of the sentence. So keep in mind that you have to use the subject, the verb, and the complement you have. Don't forget that, for example, if they give you a question mark, you're going to create the question. Or in the case that, for example, it appears not, you're going to do it in negative sentence. Questions about this activity? Questions, guys, about this one? No. no. Okay, good. So that this is going to be a writing, right? For you to practice and uh, memorize the structure. And the other one is that for you to speak, try not to speak in Spanish, right? I'm listening, I'm joining your sessions and I'm seeing that you are speaking. Try to speak English as much as you can. At least there is a word that you don't know. Okay, so questions about uh these two activities we have no okay so uh, mm -hmm. tell me uh, we are going to create uh, uh, the different sentence right i'm going to send you the task and based on the on the words that appears in brackets you can create the sentence okay okay give me just a moment Okay, with the speaking task, remember that this is for you to practice. Okay, let's go to the breakout rooms and uh, so we, we still have some minutes. I'm not quite sure if we're going to finish the speaking, but at least we can start. Let's go, we are seven. Let's go guys. As usual, remember, they're going to be in the WhatsApp.
Yes. The answer the answer is yes, he is studying. He is studying. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, he is studying.
guys do you have questions manuel and uh, rose este, no questions no questions do you have them um what is the part you are working manuel creo que se desconectó se le cayó no no sé qué se <laughs> Okay, what about you? Which ones do you have? I finished one. one part. Hello? Mm -hmm. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, we can hear you. Yeah, in this moment, uh, are finished uh, this part. Okay, so yeah. with that one, we are okay? Mm, yeah, yeah, okay. teacher. Okay, so don't forget the next one, right? Yeah, teacher. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, perfect. Um, I let you work then, guys. Let me know if you have questions. I'm gonna give you three minutes more and then we uh, come back to the main room, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, guys, let's finish this section and then we go over the speaking activity. Okay, let's go with the second one. Can you help me? Um, let's see, Oscar, number two, please. What do you have? Hello there? Nobody's there? Sorry, 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 teacher. Uh, is, your, is your classmate starting? 
Okay, is your classmate studying? Very good. And the answer? Yes, he is. Yes, he is, right? That's good. Okay, thank you, Oscar. The next one, please, Kenny Pino. Number three, what do you have? We have Steven, make, and dinner. What is the, the sentence there? Pregúnteselas okay. todas a Kenny. Ah, okay. <laughs> yes, Oscar. <laughs> he is your friend, right? <laughs> a good friend. Yes. <laughs> okay, continue. Steven is making dinner. Mm -hmm. Steven is making dinner. Help me with the next one, please. Uh, me, teacher. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. That's Oscar. <laughs> why, why are you laughing? Why are you laughing? And uh, the answer? The answer is I am reading a funny book. Yes, try. I am reading a funny book. Thank you, Kenny. So the next one, please, Manuel, number five. Yes, teacher. Uh, the children are playing a game. The children are playing a game. Uh -huh. Continue. Number six. Uh -huh. it's, it's raining now. Okay, it's, or it is right, it is uh, raining now. Mm -hmm. Okay, continue. Okay, thank you, Emmanuel. Can you please continue, Elsie? Okay, teacher. Um, are they eating lunch? They are they, are they eating lunch, right? Mm -hmm. And the answer, no, they aren't. No, they aren't. That's good. Uh -huh. Can we move number eight, please? Okay. Um, are are ba pajaro his for the bird? Singing. Mm -hmm. So bird bird. Are singing. Are, <laughs> are birds singing, right? Mm -hmm. oh, oh, but that, that is bird, a sentence. No. That, that is a sentence, right? Yes. Birds. Yes. Birds are. Singing. Birds are. Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay. Perfect. Thank you, Elsie. Can you help me with okay. the next one, Rose? Please, number nine. I am. I doing my homework. I am doing, doing my, my homework. homework. Very good. Okay, continue with number 10, please. Number 10. Mm -hmm. He's not sleeping. He is not sleeping. Right? Yes. Okay, thank you. So tell me the last two, please. Um, Henry, please, the last ones. My friend and I. My friend. My friend and, and I talk and. And I, uh -huh. I are talking. talking. Uh, talking. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. The next one, please. Twelve. Uh, it's, uh, uh, John. John. Uh -huh. It is. It, it, it's not. Okay, it's not. Swimming. Mm -hmm. At the beach. Swimming at the beach. Okay. That's right. Okay, guys, there you have. It's time to leave and to have a big rest, right? Have a good night, guys, and uh, see you next week, right? Good bless you. Thank okay. you, you too, guys. Take care. See you. See you the next week. See you, guys. Bye-bye. Good, Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you.